In the last presentation, we have seen about in in SQL. I mean the keyword in in SQL. In this presentation, we are going to see about the keyword between in SQL. Let's directly step into the topic of the day, the between keyword. Why do we need this keyword between? We know writing SQL queries are like English-like statements. And that's why the query is very easy to understand and very easy to write as well. From the name itself, we can guess that we are going to retrieve the values within a specified range. And the range is specified using which keyword? Between. Say, for example, we want to list all the numbers between 50 and 70. So what do we mean by this? Between 50 and 70 means the values from 50 up to 70. So it's clear that we are going to use which keyword? Between. And what is the companion keyword with between? It's and, right? So whenever we use between, the companion is and keyword. So whatever the values that we are going to specify is going to use between and and. Will this keyword between work on all data type? This keyword between works on number type, text type or even date type. That's the beauty of this keyword between. Is it going to take the first value and the last value in the range? Say for example, between 50 and 70. Is it going to consider 50 and 70? Yes. So the concern is, are the starting and ending values included? And the answer for this is, yes, the starting and the ending values are going to be included. Say for example, between 50 and 70 includes values 50 and 70 as well in the result. Is there any negating keyword like we have seen in the previous lecture? For in, we have not space in. Of course, we have a negating keyword here, which is not between. So with this theoretical knowledge, let's step into the syntax. The syntax is the same. Select column 1, comma, column 2, comma, column 3 up to column n from table name where the condition we are going to specify. So where column between value 1 and value 2. So if it is a number type, we can directly give the values here. For example, between 10 and 20. In case we are giving the type as text or date, then it should be enclosed with a single quotes. Let's see an example. Select all columns from student where age between 10 and 20. So we are going to retrieve the records where the age is greater than or equal to 10 and lesser than or equal to 20. In simple terms, between 10 and 20, remember 10 and 20 are also included. Let's see an example. The same example what we have seen, the employee table. And the query is, select star from employee where salary between 40,000 and 50,000. So just pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. And the answer for this query is going to be this because we have mentioned the values between 40,000 and 50,000. So all the values in the salary that is between 40,000 and 50,000 will be included. Can you see here 50,000 is also included because the starting and the ending values are also included. Now if you want to sort this result, of course you can do this using order by. So here I have mentioned only one condition that is the salary value should be between 40,000 and 50,000. Let's bring in another situation. The table is the same employee table. Here I am giving two conditions. The salary should be between 40,000 and 50,000 and the department is HR. If you note here, there are two and here. This is one and and this is another and. No worries, our system will not get confused because this and is associated with between and this AND is a logical AND operation where multiple conditions are specified. So this salary between 40,000 and 50,000 is one condition and department is equal to HR is another condition. And the output is obviously, which is satisfying two conditions, salary between 40,000 and 50,000 and also department is equal to HR. And we have already seen about the negating command. The negating command is simple not between 40,000 and 50,000 and we will get the result accordingly. So if you note here, the values that are not between 40,000 and 50,000, all values are listed. And that's why we are able to see the 68,000 and 62,000 are also there in the output result set. We will see one more example, the same employee table. And the query is, select star from employee where city between Ahmedabad and Chennai. Do you guys notice something different here? In the previous case, we have used numeric type, the number type. But here we are using between and and with string type, the text type. Now what will be the output? Just pause this video for a while and think about the answer. The answer is we are going to retrieve the values between A and C. 
Between A and C, which city is matching? Between A and C, we have A, B and C. Isn't it? Because A and C are also included. And that's why in the result set, we are getting the city values B, C as well as A. Because between includes starting value and the ending value as well. Let's see one more example. The same employee table. But the query is select asterisk from employee where city between Ahmedabad and Chennai order by city ascending. For this, just see the previous output and then do the sorting operation in the ascending order. For easy understanding, I am bringing in the previous example. So this will be the output we will be getting. But the difference is the city will be sorted in the ascending order. I mean, Ahmedabad will be first, followed by Bangalore, followed by Chennai. So if you see here, the output is going to be this where city is sorted in the ascending order, Ahmedabad followed by Bangalore followed by Chennai. And that's it guys. I hope the session is informative and thank you for watching.